Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm Jan, this is Izzy, and we are going to show you how to do a bucket of British blooms. What you're going to do with it, how to get the best value out of the choice of material we've sent you from our forestry. Mm -hmm. Right, so Jan, what do we have here today? What have we got here today? We've had, the couriers just arrived mm -hmm. and brought us a lovely selection of cottage garden material. Mm -hmm. So we've got a large jam jar, we've got a, a hand painted jug, <laughs> we've got a smaller jam jar, and we've got some medicine bottles. So this is a selection of things we have today. We have got a few more, um, and we'll use them as and when we go through um, go through the video. Okay, so how, where do I start? Where do you start indeed? Okay, you need a pair of secateurs mm -hmm. and or scissors, mm -hmm. um, and the determination to see through to the bitter end. <laughs> Um, ideally, I'd start with the bigger jars first okay. because they take more material. Cutting foliage, you see, this is quite important to get the best value out of the stem. Okay. Is always cut from the bottom of the stem up. Right. So don't ever let me see you, oh, that's a nice piece, and whip the top out of the branch okay. because you've spoiled the overall shape of it. Yeah. So, given we've got quite a tall container, this first arrangement, ideally I'd like it to be one to one and a half times the height of this jar. So about yeah, about yeah. there. Somewhere like the that. Top of the lot. Yeah. Okay. If it's too visually intrusive, so your guests can't see across the table, yeah. don't worry, it's not the end of the world. We'll just make it a little bit shorter. Okay. Okay. So I'm cutting from the bottom, remember, yeah. up. And I can probably make two pieces out of that stem. The next important thing, these are clear containers, yeah. so remove all these lower leaves. I suppose it's You've just got to strip the lower leaves off like that. I foraged from a lot of this this morning. The use of herbs is, is lovely because it goes with the food, it fills the room with fragrance as well, that's, that's always a good idea. I think it's um, quite nice, so I think it's quite a, it's quite a nice old fashioned sort of rustic, nostalgic approach to, yeah. to forestry as well. It I is. Like it. Yeah. So I'm allowing room for these, these blooms. Amazing. I know, they're lovely. These blooms, when they open, will take up quite a bit of space. Yeah. So allow for that to develop. Mm -hmm. Don't make it too formal. Keep it easy. I'm literally putting one flower in after another. Okay turning it round so you get a few from all sides. Oh yeah, of course, because if they're sat on a round table, even on a square table, I suppose they have to be able to yeah. see it. Everybody's got to enjoy something. <laughs> so this is very loosely put in, weaving in seed heads. Mm -hmm. Herbs, I'm gonna pop those round the bottom. Okay, so they'll be lower. They'll be lower. Okay. 